What's up my single chats and toxic gamers coming at you with an emergency video because another year another Call of Duty game and this time I got a video that I want to show you like this video share this video but not just that apparently we know about Call of Duty 2027 <laughs> Apparently Sledgehammer My Balls is working on it and this is a schedule to which the homies are not so happy. Call of Duty 2026, new Infinity War game, can we skip 2026 please? Can we? We can skip 2026. I speak for everyone when I say we are skipping 2026. Infinite Warfare 2, a uh, praying emoji. When are they gonna stop doing yearly releases? It makes the game sucks at launch. So every game a two year cycle, but they're gonna act like it's a brand new game. Sell it for $70. Cannot wait for Game Pass, man. Hopefully Advanced Warfare 2026, most advanced Call of Duty game in history, part two. And it'll be like that. New leaks that have just dropped for Treyarch's next Black Ops game in 2024. And some huge zombie leaks about round base next year, as oh well as God. the fact that we could be getting it even earlier than we Ooh. usually would. Could be an indication that zombies is about to explode explode all over again yeah explode what I started lot. damn man you don't let the zombies explode like that come on bro hey yo what the f bro dive like, into every single detail right now I don't but i'd love to know your thoughts about like. this in the comments below and if you're excited for the next tryout game let me know by dropping a thumbs up but a bombshell article was just dropped on the news outlet windowscentral.com detailing an exclusive that call of duty 2024 is 100 a black ops game that will be set during <laughs> the gulf war in the early 90s now according to win yeah, nowadays, I mean, nobody believes it when they say a hundred percent Black Ops game. I mean, dad, like if they're gonna call it Black Ops game, it's gonna be a hundred percent Black Ops game, right? Like, no central. On, Internally, the game is being referred to as Black Ops Six, and its formal name may not be fully decided yet. But given how Treyarch has dropped Black a Ops numerical War, yeah. name for its last game, Black Ops Cold War, it's very likely that same name convention will continue, yeah. where it will be Black Ops Gulf War. Basically Man, that is crazy. It's like either Black Ops or Modern Warfare. Black Ops, Modern Warfare. Black Ops Modern Warfare. And to be honest, like, I don't care about the name, but I know that a lot of you are like, yo, Black Ops, can we get a new game? Can we get a, can we get a new name? The way I see it is that I understand where everybody's coming from, but the way I see it is that the name doesn't matter as long as the game is fun, right? And right now, the, the, the biggest pile of bull crap that is happening is like, Modern Warfare and Black Ops, both of them are feeling kind of like the same ish, and that is due to the engine they are using. Like the video if you agree, because the menus feel the same, the game's feeling the same. But I do admit that the last Trail game, which came out in 2020, uh, uh, Black Ops Cold War, that is still miles better than the crap that we got in 2022 and 2023. According to multiple sources familiar with Activision's plans, COD 2024 will sport the Black Ops moniker and once again follow some of the West's more shadowy military dealings in global conflict scenarios. Oh, and rumors have suggested oh, this for months and months, but Black Ops 6, according to them, will take place during the Gulf War, with the first major conflict between Iraq and a coalition of US-led militaries. Black Ops 6 will lean back into more <laughs> traditional military combat technology and familiar black ops gadgetry yeah honestly like i'm not gonna lie like i'm actually a little bit excited though yeah i'm a little bit because listen i skipped on modern warfare 3 and if this game turns out to be bad i'm ready to skip on it too guys like don't worry i'm ready to not buy as well i'm i'm dead ass ready to not buy the game but i'm also kind of looking forward to it and i want to give them the benefit of the doubt per perhaps it's because like it's it's treyarch that's probably is the my my main reason because Treyarch they always make the the, the beach call of duty game right they always always revive the, the the call of duties out there and i i truly hope that they pull through man because it's now or never bro if, if this game sucks it is joe over i you know this is something that we say every year this is a whole lot of copium from my end as well i fully agree with you but this is do or die this is the last chance they're gonna have as opposed to what we've seen with current and near future tech in modern warfare. Their sources say that this game will attempt to explore a nuanced narrative of the Gulf War with a critical focus on different participants within the conflict. Now there's okay. already been several leaks on Twitter to various character names that are going to be within the campaign. The only critical lens they're going to apply to this is uh, they're going to be like, okay, so uh, how can we design this uh, friendly? 
for Black Ops Gold War. That's essentially what's gonna happen. Like, let's be real, bro. That's the critical lens. Even the have. names of some of the levels have already leaked. And I think that's all due to the fact that Modern Warfare 3 and this new Black Ops game are all gonna be built on the same unified engine. So what? they'll be sharing the same game code. Man. And that's where we're seeing this overlap. Call bro, hey, yo, what the F, bro? Like, come on, man. Separate the engines, bro. Separate the games, bro. We don't need the same retweet, like, <laughs> uh, Netflix, like, Netflix. Netflix subscription like menu for Call of Duty for every Call of Duty games bro like we don't need that just separate it bro because Call of Duty menus are so much diarrhea it's it's just doesn't feel like Call of Duty it feels like the game is playing me uh, obviously with skill based matching and like that that's how it feels like but you know what I mean right like separate the menus separate the games make Black Ops feel like Black Ops and make and keep Modern Warfare feeling like Modern Warfare and guys, what you think about Infinity Tard uh, making uh, 2026 Call of Duty? Skip or no skip? Into Modern Warfare 3 Intel on Twitter, some of the mission names are called Contract, Union, Safe House, which seems similar to the Cold War Safe House, a mission Bruh. that takes place on a farm, as well as Storm Extraction. Yo, I've been thinking about like Modern Warfare 2022 uh, farm and... Uh, <laughs> Shoot house or yeah, right? Like, I hope it's not like redacted and imposter. Diving into the multiplayer and zombies information, they state, as previously shared on Twitter by Insider Gaming, who is a very reputable source, this game will feature returning maps from the Black Ops franchise, including the maps Grind and WMD. <laughs> as for zombies, yeah. game file leads. Yeah! Yo, man, come on, bro. Like, I like. Remaster maps, but come on, damn it, bro. We need a new game, bro. We need a new game, bro. A new game, man. We need a new game first. And then you guys, you suckers, can have remaster maps because everything right now is remaster, recycle. What is happening to this gaming industry, bro? Two remaster maps, even four. Hell, like, give us like all the remaster maps. I'm fine with it as long as the game is new and it has minimum, minimum of 12 new maps. Well, guys, come on, it's 3,000 devs they got. You're telling me 12, it, like, even I, I know for the fact that I'm keeping my standards low when I ask for 12 new maps, okay? It, my standards are low as hell right now. 12 new maps, you guys gotta understand this. You need to wake up. They got 3,000 devs, and they spent three years, and by the time this Treyarch games come out, it's gonna be four years in development, and it's not even my words. That's what the reports are saying, and think about this for a second, right? Call of Duty 2020 came out in uh, 2020, four years ago, and when this game comes out, it's gonna be four years, four years! Trek has been working on this second for four years, damn it! So I hope it has 12 new maps, and then they can do remasters and all that. It's also point to round based zombies modes returning and they can confirm the obvious from oh, their God. sources that not only is zombies returning but round based zombies is returning now there was a very recent leak within the game files of modern warfare 3 that suggested that there would be two zombies round based maps on launch man what the flip bro like come on bro hey yo what the flip yo can a brown man perhaps get to see three new maps three years three thousand devs and or four years i should say Bruh. Four years, 3,000 devs. Can we get three new maps? And I hope we have a pausing feature because the devs actually forgot to add a pausing feature. Now, you know, like they, they don't know how to add a pausing button in Zombies. So I hope they do that as well. And according to both Windows Central and Charlie Intel, that also backs up what they've heard about COD 2024, that Treyarch will have round-based zombies in their game, but it's not oh, clear yet how many round-based maps will be at launch. Now, it was leaked late last week that there are going to be two round-based maps coming, and that was from files and coding within Modern Warfare 3, because the engines are now shared between games. Bruh. And it sounds like from the basis of that, one zombies map is going to take place on some sort of island with an underground lab and prison, and there's also going to be another zombies map set somewhere in a town now here's mm. where things get absolutely crazy. yeah uh, yeah like i'm thinking about zetsubu no shima i'm thinking about like transit as well and there have been rumors that we might get transit remastered too guys like you know <laughs> yeah i would not mind transit i know like suckers actually hated transit at launch but think about it for a second man think about it for a second what are we getting nowadays we getting nothing we don't even get zombies masks no more bro like transit feels so good it's like it's one of those things right i wish we knew there was a way to i wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you've left them right come on Bruh. man 
You agree, right? Like the video if you agree. Crazy for the next zombies, because what Windows Central has heard is that Activision is exploring a large okay. pre-order early access bonus for Black Ops Golf War with several days of early access for the base game, but weeks and weeks of early access to the zombies mode prior to its release. This is absolutely unheard of within Call of Duty Zombies and Call of Duty history for a zombies mode that's part of a base game to be available in early access Damn. weeks before the entire rest of the game launches, which to Holy. me says only one thing, that Activision and Treyarch are so confident in the zombies that they have created for this game that they are willing to put it out even earlier earlier than the full game release which Yo, is my boy bought a cream in his pants right now though he's like oh my god oh my god i'm shaking oh, i'm oh, shaking but on a real though guys emergency meaning real quick wait for it because we got more leaks coming up but here's the thing okay as a brown man i demand because listen black ops cold war zombies gameplay i said it before i'll say it again the gameplay fire though i love the gameplay okay but they need to get rid of this minimap like what the f like why the flip we got this minimap in zombies for what reason it's zombies for crying out loud we don't need that and whenever we kill zombies we don't need the health bar i know you i'm not sure 100 percent uh for black ops cold rod but i believe that you can turn it off okay that's good right but but still though by default we don't need it we don't need health bar for zombies why is there so much crap so get rid of minimap get rid of the health bar and when you kill zombies you do not need in the middle of your screen to see all that bull squash like a vertical ass wall of the xp we don't need to know that fix the point system it was never broken you remember black ops 3 right and uh previous black ops games whenever you would shoot zombies you would get 10 points per one hit and if there were multiple zombies that you were hitting with one bullet it would just quadruple even quintuple even right and you would get 10 points on the uh, on this side of the on the bottom right hand corner you would get the small points just small and it was really really good and obviously per zombie killed you would also get xp in black ops 3 zombies but you would never see that on your screen you would only notice it if you would like if you would pause the game that's when you can see your level up bar right and you would see like your prog uh, progression that was brilliant because we do not need to see that in the middle of the screen we need actual zombie maps not like warzone zombies and warzone is cool as long as we have actually new and dedicated zombie maps yeah okay sure do that after that okay let us play zombies on multiple maps in warzone i'm down with that but new zombie maps dedicated zombie maps we need that okay that's number one number two we need a zombie screw and not like this uh friendly we don't need this these friendly uav online bundles in in zombies like it just breaks immersion zombies is completely different the reason suckers want to play zombies is to not is because they don't want to play multiplayer for the time being they want to try out something fresh like the video if you agree guys it's an absolutely incredible thing for the last two years i've really enjoyed the fact that call of duty have done the campaign early access so that we can all enjoy and we also don't need hit markers and see like the xp is coming up like we don't really need that just put the points right there and fix the point system as well i mean it was never broke but they fixed what was not broke essentially enjoy the campaign and play it without having to worry about missing out in multiplayer and zombies and this sounds like they're going one step further than that by having zombies playable and you're also getting like multiplayer medals look at that encompassing zombies you what bro like why do we need encompassing zombies you, you feel what I'm saying? And I know I'm like nitpicky right now, but like dog, they just copy and paste it. I know why this is happening because they are not putting that, the, the amount of effort they used to put in zombies back then, they're not putting the same amount of effort. They're literally copy and pasting Warzone in multiplayer, in campaign as well. And, and they just make Warzone nowadays and they take sections from it to make multiplayer maps from, ground war maps from, campaign from, and zombies from. But I do believe this map was actually new, uh, minus the Nocturne and Totem remaster. But that's how it is right now, and they just copy and paste everything for multiplayer. It just kills immersion. Thoughts? A a am I, like, really nitpicking, or you agree with the same nit- I, I know I'm nitpicking, but do you agree with this, or do you disagree? I wanna know your thoughts. Oh, several weeks before the main game, it is actually insane. Not only does this mean that they are 
are so confident in the zombies content that they're offering on launch, but this also shows that Activision clearly see that zombies is one of the biggest attractions to what people buy Call of Duty for. And speaking from personal experience here as a zombies YouTuber that's been covering the game since World at War, that's the only main reason that I've bought every single Call of Duty game is for the I zombies. So that I hope this game bangs and guys recently a massive cheater was caught in Call of Duty. It's just never stopping. Check this video out and I will see you right there.